What is going on, fellas and lady fellas? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we've got another news video. It's been a minute since we've gotten any legit news, and finally, we have a little shum shum. In fact, we have what I assume to be the entire first, at least, wave of appliance or cards we're actually going to be getting in the physical card game and not just Link Vrain's The Anime, which is totally awesome. So, <laughs> that's a pun. You get a pun. I'm going to count it. Anyway, <laughs> all right, this is the collector's pack. Don't forget about that. This is an OCG set, but we already have the fossil cards are confirmed for a set. I'm not even sure if we have the Numeron cards confirmed for an actual set just yet, but maybe I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, today, let's just at least take a look at these appliancer cards. Starting off here, we've got Appliancer Socket Troll. This is a dark level one machine with 100 attack, 100 defense. Two effects, both are hard ones per turns. First effect, if you control an appliance or monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Okay, that's pretty nice. Jumps out of the hand really easily. I like that. That's always a big plus, especially for uh, decks that want to link spam, like I assume this deck does, because it's from Link Brains. Second effect, if an appliance or sock control is special summoned to your field while you control this monster, you can special summon one appliance or sock control from your deck. Okay, okay. So it has to be specifically a socket troll, not another appliance or monster being summoned. But I guess if you open two, you go normal summon one, special summon the second, and then uh, you would be able to special summon a th third off of the first one you summoned. That's pretty good. I mean, you, you get extra bodies on the field. I know this, this deck seems to be very efficient with its bodies on board, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I like it. I dig it. I think it's a good start. Good starting monster. Next up we have Appliancer Breaker Bunkle. This is a water level 1 machine with 0, zero this time for its stats. First effect, during damage calculation, if your appliance or monster battles an opponent's monster, you can discard this card. Your battle damage, or your battling monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, you take no battle damage from that battle. So, literally just make it a whiff. Your monster can't lose, and you can't take any damage. That's fine. Uh, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's 2020. Like, that's not so good. Second effect, if an appliance or monster you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can uh, banish this card from your field or graveyard instead. It's only card effect. It's not even by battle. Like, I feel like half the time it's going to be by battle that you want the protection effect for. I think this card's f so mediocre. Honestly, I really I really don't want to give too much hope on this on this card. I think the first one's good, the second one not so much. Moving on though, we have Appliancer Copy Buckle. <laughs> I love the names, honestly. This is another dark level one machine with zero zero for its stats. You can only use each of this card's names first, second effects once per turn. First effect during your main phase, you can target one appliancer you control. I'm assuming that's appliance or monster. You control, special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, this card's name is treated as the name of that target until the end phase. That's pretty interesting. I wonder how that works with our socket troll. Like, if he special summons himself and then his counts as a socket troll, does that trigger a socket troll that's already on field to get another special of another socket troll? I'm curious how that would work. But interesting, nonetheless, still, still jumps out of the hand. Second effect, during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, okay? You could banish this card in your graveyard, then target an appliance or monster you control, and special summon one with the same name from your hand or graveyard. That's really nice. Honestly, that's, <laughs> I think that's so good. I mean, obviously you're going to try and play to, like, kind of set up for that, but, yeah. I think that's, I think that's good. I think you're going to leave a lot of similar name ones on field and in grave, so you just banish him, get a free one, either out of the hand or out of the grave, back to the field. It's pretty nice. It's a nice recursion play for sure. Uh, he's in your graveyard, but he's another resource on the following turn, and he jumps out of the hand super easy, so I don't think there's too much to really complain about there. Now we're going to move to the Link Monster. This is where things get spicy. Okay, first up we have Appliancer Celtopus. This is a... Uh, kind of like a little jellyfish octopus looking guy. I like him. Um, okay, he takes two appliancer monsters. He has zero attack, but he points down and down left. And he has three effects. First effect, this card cannot be targeted for attacks or opponent's card effects while it is linked. Okay, so while it's pointing to something or being pointed to, I believe it works either way, your opponent cannot target this card with anything, attacks or by effect. It's pretty nice protection, honestly. 
Second effect, during damage calculation, if an appliance or link monster you control that is co-linked to this card battles an opponent's monster, that co-link monster gains a thousand attack for each monster co-linked to this card during that damage calculation only. Okay, that's a lot, but I'm assuming this deck is, is kind of going to want to spam a little bit, kind of set up co-links in that fashion, and so I think this would work pretty well, um, just giving... Uh, the thousand boosts of stuff because I think we're going to see a lot of link ones and link twos, so they might be really mediocre in stat lines, but then gets like, um, you know, then gets buffed, especially if you're calling two things. That's a 2,000 buff, and that's also not once per turn, it seems, on that effect as well. So pretty nice as well. Um, and it concludes himself too. Third effect, once per turn, if an appliance or link monster you control that is not co linked to this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can draw one card. That's nice, it kind of deters, so like this guy your opponent go after while he's linked. But if your opponent goes after other ones, but it's not co-linked. So it could just be linked, it could just be pointed to something, and if they went after it, um, to destroy it, you would at least get a free re-access off of that. I think that's a nice little bonus effect, I think mainly uh, he's going to be just trying to set up co-links that you can go in for more damage. Definitely more of a, a battle phase oriented card, but still not terrible. <coughs> Moving on, we have our Appliancer Vaculefent. I love the design again. Uh, this is another Dark Machine, 1,000 attack this time, and he points upward right, and he's just a Link 1, which is pretty cool. He takes any Appliancer. All right, and his first and second effects uh, are harder to turn, but you can only activate once one of them per turn, not both, okay? And you cannot use this card as a Link materi material during the turn it is summoned. Interesting. First effect, during the main phase, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy that card. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean as hell. <laughs> okay. Second effect, during your main phase, if this card is co-linked, you can target one monster in your opponent's main monster zone, destroy that monster. Now, unfortunately, like we just said, you can only pick one of those two effects to activate uh, per turn. So you got to pick your poison. Obviously, if you're co-linked, uh, you, do you don't have to send a card from hand or... Uh, uh, you don't have to send a card from hand to the graveyard to trigger it, so you save a little bit of resources. Um, to still, but it's it's limited to just popping a monster in the main monster zone, so a little more specific, but I think it's good. I think either way, you're probably gonna get pretty good bang for your buck just on the removal for a Link 1. Hell yeah, pretty good. I think that's a good card. Also, if he is uh, not co-linked, he can attack directly. Also another bonus, um, just dink it in for damage. Small bonus, but it's still there. Next up we have Appliancer Kappa Scale. Why does he have pickles on his elbow? He is literally like pickles. Okay. You know what? Those are questions for later, probably. <laughs> this one's a water machine. Okay. We're changing attribute. Uh, zero attack. Link one. And he points. What does he point? Straight up. Okay. Interesting. You can only use each of this card's name first and second effect once per turn, but they can both be used at the same in the same turn. And also this card cannot be used as link material during the turn it is link summoned. Keep that in mind. Those are important restrictions. First effect, during the main phase, you contribute this co-linked card to special summon appliance, one appliance or link monster from your graveyard, except for another copy of itself. Okay, you trade it in for any other appliance or uh, link in the grave, that's pretty good. Second effect, during your main phase, you contribute this card that is not co-linked um, to special summon a level four or lower appliance or monster from your graveyard. So depending on how you summon this card, where you wanted to summon this card, uh, you could either trade it in for any link in grave or any non-link in grave, which is pretty good either way. Honestly, I think this is just a nice utility card, getting you recursion, essentially pulling whatever you might have already gone through that's in the grave out. And especially if there's like a link two or higher, just trading him in for a link two or higher could actually be pretty good. Or reviving um, the socket troll, if you already had another socket troll, to get another socket troll out of deck and just get more materials that way. So I think this card's pretty nice for its recursive abilities. I'm a big fan there. Next up, we have a little dragon guy. Look at him. This is Appliancer Dryer Drake. Nice. He's a fire attribute. Um, and let's see. He is a machine, of course. Link one, zero attack, but he points upward and to the right. So that same, those same link arrows that are going to get you co-links with the uh, link two at the top we already went over. This card cannot be used as link material during the turn it is link summoned. Okay, that's pretty standard for what we've seen. This card gains a thousand attack while it is linked. Okay, goes to at least a thousand. Once during your battle phase, if this card is co-linked, you can switch the locations of two appliancer monsters in your main monster zones, including this card, 
And if you do, that other monster can make two attacks during each battle phase this turn. Huh. And the third effect once per turn when this card is targeted for an attack while it is not co-linked, you can negate that attack. Okay. That's a lot. That second effect is a lot. <laughs> during your battle phase, if he's co-linked, you can swap locations. So you have, they have to be swapped exact locations. Uh, and it has to be two uh, appliance or monsters in the main monster zones. And then the, new mon the monster you swap this card with would get to attack twice. Honestly, I don't, I don't know exactly how that would work. I'm assuming it's something like uh, this guy can use both of his effects like once per turn. So you could use one effect, I guess, and then swap him to another, the other zone to maybe he was co-linked once and then he was not co-linked and just regularly linked. And then you could use his other effect. Something like that. I mean, he does tribute, so you'd have to revive him somewhere in there. Uh, I think it's weird, but I, I guess it could work. I don't know. <laughs> and our last monster here is Appliancer Laundry Dragon. This is a water machine. 15 our attack. That's our biggest stat line. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, and of course he takes one appliance or monster, he points straight up, he's a link one. You cannot be used as link material during the turn, he is link summoned, very important. And three effects. First effect, neither player takes damage from battles evolving this card. Okay. Second effect, once per turn if this card is co-linked and it battles an opponent's monster after damage calculation, you can banish that opponent's monster. Okay, I think that's pretty good, um, especially since we already have the uh, protection effects, the battle protection, where your monster won't be destroyed and you take no damage. So you could like battle something, then banish it, kind of just doing like some Zodiac stuff with um, whip tail shenanigans. Not terrible. Third effect, once per turn, if this card battles an opponent's monster while it is not co-linked. After damage calculation, you could destroy that monster, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. Also nice, especially if you have a way to still protect him um, from dying in the battle, but still be able to destroy and then inflict damage. It doesn't matter if he inflicts battle damage, you're still going to get that that damage. So that's pretty nice. He's more of an out to something. I think he's a better utility card than a lot of the cards we saw up above, but we're going to have to see the spells to see if this archetype is really going to round out. First spell is Appliance or Reuse. This is a normal spell, and it's not once per turn. It says, target an appliance or monster in your graveyard. Special summon that monster, but if it is sent to the... Uh, Oh, but it is sent to the graveyard. Uh, it is sent to the bottom of the owner's deck if it leaves the field. Okay, so it doesn't go back into grave. But it's still just a monster reborn that's not once per turn. It's not too shabby. Second spell here, we have Appliance or Test. Okay, we have a normal spell. You can only activate one card. This card's name once per turn. Okay, target an Appliance or Link monster you control. Special summon as many Link 1 Appliance or Link monsters as possible from your graveyard to zones that it points to, but they are banished during the end phase. Okay, so this one really only works with our Link 2 because the other ones don't really point down at all. I guess you, I guess the ones that point up, you couldn't even make them work with it. But I guess you'd have to use the, the Link 2 pointing down. But he seems to be the centerpiece anyway. You're trying to just co-link everything. I think that's good. I mean, you could just get two Monster Reborns off of this, which is pretty nice, and get them co-linked, and then you can immediately link them away because they weren't Link Summoned that turn. They were just Special Summoned because uh, you definitely won't, don't want them banished, getting banished on the end phase. And then our last card here is uh, a field spell called Appliancer Electri Electro Lyrical World. Electro Lyrical World. Field spell, you can only activate one card of this card's name once per turn. When this card is activated, you can add an appliance or card from your deck to the hand, except for, an except for a field spell card. This is what the deck needed. Going through all these cards, I was like, if there's no search card for these, not only is this stuff kind of underwhelming, but like no search card, hopefully this card puts it all together. Once per turn, if an appliance or link monster is link summoned to your field, you can add one appliance or monster from your graveyard to your hand. Whoa. <laughs> That's clean, for sure. I love that. Okay, uh, this card, this this card makes like socket troll like so good. I think right because socket this this card is like one card like combo socket troll. I think because you just add a socket troll, link it for any of the link ones, then you could use this to add a lock the socket troll back to hand. He could special himself. But I don't know if you get the search, but at least he gets a link too off just this card, I think. It's pretty nice. And the third effect, once per turn, when either player's monster declares an attack, you can move one appliance or monster you control to another of your main monster zones. Okay, this card is like the best card in the deck, <laughs> like straight up. Uh, it searches on activation. 
uh, even if it's only once per turn. It searches on activation and in the same turn, like immediately recurs you one from hand. This card's a plus two. It's really good. Um, one thing I am definitely worried about with this deck is making sure that you can actually get to legitimate plays. There doesn't really seem to be any disruption built into the deck. That's something I'm definitely worried about. They're cool, and I know this is a collection pack, guy, so keep that in mind uh, as you're looking at these. A lot of stuff from collection pack tends... You tend to have some things that are a little more competitive seeming, like the Numeron cards, and then you have stuff like this that's a little more fun seeming. And maybe I do think the engine could be something. Um, obviously, your links can't be used as link material to turn their summon, so that is definitely a hindrance. Um, but there is still potential here, and if they get any legit con like win conditions or like disruption effects, I think they it would do them wonders. But I think for the time being, I think they're really cool. I think they're really fun. I think they're a little bit too battle phase oriented. Um, they definitely probably need like one more main deck monster. Even if they got traps, if it's searchable and they got traps that are like good disruptive re disruptive cards, I would take that too. Like anything at this point, but. I think they're a little lackluster to start. Obviously, guys, these are just my opinions. If you think I'm missing anything here, of course, throw it in the comments down below because I'm not perfect. I'm just reading these for the first time literally ever. I've never even seen them used in the anime. So definitely let me know if you think I missed anything, as always. And subscribe. <laughs> if uh, you want to see, if you want to stay up to date on news videos from me or deck profiles or discussion videos, anything Yu-Gi-Oh! really, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Peace.